Good morning, grade 9, 10 physical science students. It's Mr. Alcorn here, and today we are going to conduct an experiment to help us understand what we have been learning about what is in the middle of the earth or underneath our feet. So, having your textbooks, which you should have brought home with you, of course, uh, knowing about the school cancellations, turn to page 131, module 6, figure 6.1 the cross, the mantle, and the core of the earth. And remembering that the mantle and the area underneath the lithosphere uh, is liquid as well as the outer core. The inner core, remember, is thought to be solid. We're going to look today at the properties of plastic rock that makes up the liquidy part of the mantle and outer core. And we're going to do this by using a substance well known to uh, all your mums, no doubt, and some of your dads, a common baking thing called cornstarch and I'm going to take the uh, cornstarch and add it to some water which of course is a universal substance as we know that we all need so let's take our time uh, a moment and turn to page 136 experiment 6.2 I'm just going to make a little room for my book. I need to put the cornstarch in the pie plate first. Also, you may attempt this at home, if you wish, with mom and or dad's permission, of course. But do remember, it's going to be a bit messy, so we need to be careful about those things. So you take the cup of cornstarch, and then to that, I add my properly measured two-thirds of a cup of water. Now I want you to watch carefully as I attempt to mix it together. It will mix but it does not mix easy and we need to remember that. Now remember as part of your experimental procedures take notes and write down your observations. I just had to put the pie plate down to assist in mixing this stuff but hopefully now you can begin to see that this is beginning to mix though it is stiff and awkward for me to do it but it's coming together and right now it is mostly liquidy but it's slowly coming together. I'll put the plate down again, swirl it a little move it around ah there it is now it's mixing up nice but I want you to note then the spoon goes into it very easily and it's mostly liquid now, the experimental procedure, which of course you should have read through by now, asks us to add one half of a cup of cornstarch. So we're going to add some more cornstarch. So I'll do that in a couple of steps here. And again, I need to move the plate around and get this mixed in. And I want to emphasize that indeed it doesn't mix easy but it will mix. So just note how the uh, consistency of the, of the mixture changes. Remember that we're only right now have mixed and we'll be mixing cornstarch and water. I continue to mix it. The theory here is that of course uh, cornstarch has what we call long chain molecules organic compounds and the water molecules get in between them and they sort of squeeze against each other so you have to understand that's part of the theory behind this now they're not the same molecules in the liquid rock and the earth but some of the properties act in a similar way now I'll add the rest of the cornstarch and hopefully we can finish this up and here we go, mixing the rest of the cornstarch in. Now I'm beginning to feel this get more solid as the moments go by. It is harder and harder to mix this together. And more and more effort is required to mix this together. But I want you to see now, as I swirl the pie plate, 
it is liquidy, isn't it? But I want you to watch as I put my spoon on top of it. It begins to solidify. Whenever I touch it with the spoon, it starts to become a little bit firm underneath the spoon. Can't see it. I hope that you, I want to make sure that you can see that. See that as it comes off the spoon. It's liquidy, but if I lift it up quickly, you'll see some of that turn to a bit of a solid. Now, I do think I'm going to give this a try by scooping up some of this with my spoon, put it on my hand, and I want you to see, and I hope that we can get a good, good camera shot as it forms in my hand, it begins to become a bit like a solid, but as soon as I stop, it drips off my hand. Now I will take a moment to add a little more cornstarch. I feel my mixture's not 100%, so excuse me a moment. So I'm just going to add a little more cornstarch. There we go. Because sometimes the mixture can be a little thin, or if there's too much cornstarch for water ratio, a little bit thick. There, I need to feel this thicken up better now. Now I want you to see, as I move my spoon through, see how that becomes a solid. There, that's much better. See on the spoon, it is solidifying for a moment as I touch it. And bring it up, see the solid substances. Then it turns to a liquid. Now I'm going to do the same thing with my hands, and I'm going to get my hands very messy here. Here it goes. Get as much of this stuff as I can now. As I pick it up, I feel it turning into a solid. And I want you to see this as I roll it around in my hands. I hope you can see a ball forming. And then I'll do it on the end of my fingers because I think that works even better. See, if, see, you can see a ball. I have to move fast with this because this stuff changes its properties very quickly. But look at that. See how that becomes a little bit of a mound of material. I'll pick up more. Look at that. There's a ball right there. See the ball? And then watch. Then it just turns to liquid. I think that's amazing. And uh, I'm just going to add a tiny bit more cornstarch. I think I'd just like to increase that effect a little bit. Yes, I'll have a great mess to clean up when I'm done, but it'll be worth it. Again, I, I put my mix in, stir it as best as you, I can into the water. There. Now, now I'm going to pick it up again, and hopefully I'm going to have, there, there, now, watch this, I think maybe we got a little bit better ball going there, right? Good. Look at that ball right there, see that? I hope we can see that really, really well, and then we can see at the end of my fingers also, really, really really well. And as soon as I open my finger, it's all reduced to liquid. Well, there's other things we can do with this too. Students, I can put my finger down into it slowly and it goes right through as if it's pure liquid. If I go quickly, it bounces off like I'm hitting an almost completely solid object. Now remember, scientists believe that the rocks that are liquid in the mantle uh, under the crust Lithosphere, stenosphere, and through the outer core act like this. When pressure is applied to them, they solidify temporarily. When the pressure stops, they liquefy. So the rock can move and solidify both and change its properties uh, inside the earth, which creates interesting things. One of them would be uh, stuff from the mantle comes up, the liquid plastic rock, and then turns into the magma, and then becomes lava if we have a volcanic explosion. 
Also, before we go, I want to show you this quickly. I let this stuff uh, sit overnight. I tried the experiment last night and it dries out and look at that. It just becomes flaky and white. It looks like white chocolate. But, well, tastes terrible. Anyway, you don't want to have to try that. Anyhow, word, quick word about cleanup if you try this at home. Uh, let this set for a little while, then you can take a knife and pry it out of the plate, put it in your compost, and you can dispose of it. Make sure you clean everything up um, if you happen to do this. So, I've come to you today then by the uh, technology and its wonders. So I hope you, you'll be able to um, watch this video and uh, take notes. Please submit the lab within about a week uh, after you listen to the video. I hope you listen to the video as soon as you possible can. Thank you students. God bless. See you later.